number three. Thanks, Purge. Game three ready to go between OG and Liquid. Series stands one to one at the moment. We're seeing some similarities in the drafts as well as, of course, some, some little changes and alterations. But still, the biggest thing that I want to talk about, Fog, is Liquid. They're believing in some of the heroes that really did struggle last game. They're sticking with like these Tide Hunters, these yeah. TAs. Do you like that, or does that sort of maybe scare you a bit in the sense that our Liquid running out is not going to be fun for We Hard to deal with? No, it allows you to secure pretty much. Almost not, not all the range could deny, but you get a lot of those ranges. There's no tell. We'll have to keep his distance. We'll be able to do so. Mind control, of course, getting good farm. Up breaks top. This, breaks this out with the gush there. Mid lane, though, we are. He's been caught out by a bit of a move from Jarax. He's trying to switch the mango in to go for a mango refraction play, but that's six seconds far too long. Jarax setting up for top. We'll only get the one creep aggro, though, for now. In this tower, they will be forced to pop glyph to defend. turn towards GH. Jarax is down the high ground. Fail's gonna be out onto GH. Avalanche from Jarax is trying to close the gap to Crepify into the life drain. He just gets slowly drained down and out. He'll turn with a stick charge and a fade bolt, but GH's fate is sealed. He's feeling strong and confident with the brown boots, wind lace and veil. He can run around and, and just be such a nuisance. And the draft panel mentioned how hard of a Tidehunter game it was going to be. Mike is trying a decent start, but now he is completely shut down as mid. And get the Inkspot stun onto We Are. GH is there to help out. Another blast. Mind Control heading over. He's only level four on the Tide at this point. I think they thought he was higher level than that. Noto throws the silence on him, but it's only level four Tide. And they're going to live train him down. Slows there with a stroke of fate. We'll be able to crack his shell up. But Jarex with pixel perfect body blocking there. Well, I say that. Miracle's going to come up with a blade fury. They punish Jarex for it. They do lose Mind Control. Support for an off lane. And you're just seeing Liquid. They're having to bring the whole team to mid lane to deal with the shenanigans of this Pugna. And immediately, Miracle's now going to start getting pressured again, too. He's even going to dig in front He just dug in front of him. <laughs> They're having way he's, too much He's on feeling it. it, Thompson. They have on a free farming top, right? This is a Treads into Midas Void, who has pushed the tight under completely out of lane. And like we said, Mind Control, he's 1-3 in this game again. The Phantom Embrace, and that is, it's such a nasty combo to crepify Phantom Embrace. There is no counter. There is no counter. There is no counter. Well, until later. Then maybe when they get BKBs or something. Yeah. Oh, Thompson. Hey, they may have alone. May have dove a little too far this time. They surround him. Thompson will fall finally. They're able to get that. That's who they want, as they know he's just going to back up in jungle. This is getting pretty out of control already. A 5k advantage. And they're finding Miracle. Thompson is going to get stunned up. And Miracle. He's got the Blade Fury and the Omni Slash to play around with. Soulbind's going to lock the two of them down together as No Tail's looking to turn. Moves in with the, the English Silence. The Dark oh! Rainbow's dead. The Ravage comes out, but they've already lost the two of them. They'll get No Tail in response. But now OG, they can turn and collapse onto Mind Control, surrounding the tide. Jarex and Thompson, Seb, they're not going to stop chasing this. A trap slow will come out. It doesn't matter. Thompson, another decrepify blast, secures him the triple kill. He's gone for another. Oh, they're not done yet, OG. GH, he's got the stolen ink swell. They'll keep that distance. Jarex closes the gap. GH is enchanted, taken out. Ultra kill for Thompson. 11 minutes in. There is nothing that can stop this. The top, the Thompson Pugna was always going to be left in. They've got to kill him. They've got to do something about it. They'll surround him. They've got the Blade Fury. They have got the stun. Thompson falling low. Put the stick charge. Tries to stab with the life trap. They kill him off. Big kill here for Liquid. Can they get more? The rest of OG have turned up. They'll focus down Miracle. Anna is coming in with the wrap around and Anna, he's nearly got the Chronosphere back online. Liquid have to be a little careful how they approach this. Jarex forcing We Are away from the rest of his team. Miracle, he's trying to run. Chrono's going to be back up in five seconds. Quick tread switch and a time walk forward from Anna allows him to close the gap. If he wants to pop the Chrono for this, he will. There's three heroes he's thinking about it. The shrine has been used. They're healing up. And they're trying to find the perfect angle. No tells coming in with the wrap around. Mike Control's back in. No ravage though. Toss over, keeping them bunched together. Anna, he's still trying to, to see if he can find that perfect opportunity. He may not even need it. The Phantom Embrace. It's on Mike Control. The output of the damage for Seb's impetus is too much for Mike Control to withstand. And miracle. There's the catch. They'll get Miracle separated. He's shot down. He's silenced up. He did get the Blade Fury. Off, but the soul by control with the impetus is far too much for him to deal with. As OG, oh my God, they keep looking for more. They're just giving us the repeat of game two in the same exact area at the same exact time too. It's like 12 minutes in. Ten heroes gathered around the ancient areas. We has like, okay, well, I can't really fight this. I have to find my own time. We has actually got to go for a blink dagger to try to match and be able to fight and be able to respond to OG's aggression. Look at the drag. 
On to Jarrett with that telekinesis, oh, but again, God. OG, they just have the numbers here. Liquid are not ready to take these fights. This is ultimate. They're just they're just punishing them for everything. The jug pick, he's not really farming at all. Weeha either. Everybody on the side of OG is farming perfectly fine. And they have Midas's. I mean miracle. He walks into lane. He oh, nearly dies immediately to the combo. Jarek's Two different control on Thompson. Again, the Shredder with a four line avalanche, but Jarek takes him out. Mind control, causes the ravage. Have they got the damage to finish these two off? Thompson's don't. still alive. He's able to back off, and now again, Radiant the rest Fox of OG's turns up. Sense in the neighborhood. Toss over for Jarek. Kuro and GH being focused. The Ixwell on Jarek. Does it hit Kuro? It doesn't matter. No tail. Has the stroke of fate, and it's enough alone. As he's now a 10k lead, three dead on the So again, OG will be able to reset, get those bounty runes if they want. They may just keep the pressure on Anna. Down bottom, he's trying to go head to head with Weeha. It's the one bash. There's more support coming in though. Jarex, as well as No Teller in the area. Weeha will get spooked. Jarex is the one standing up toward the front lines, waiting to see if something does happen. Tower's already dead. They're already working on their axes. If Liquid's gonna, gonna make a move, they're gonna make it soon, but they're not gonna get the chance to. Jarrett jumps in on top of Mind Control. Phantom Embrace upon him. No chance for a Ravage, but he's back immediately. They know the only way that they can get caught is if it's from a wraparound. Jarrett's just waiting there in position. They even have an Ops. They even put down a Sentry to take out Liquid. Liquid has been able to even find a kill. It's been GH just out of it. GH has been the one getting them, but it's not even these big ones, because like we said, they can't even get aggressive onto the map at all. As Seb just continues to stand in the base. He's a bit far forward here. Look at the multicast. Banner's gonna come in with a backup. They to grab a fight, keeping Seb safe. They'll pop the ravage. They're trying to get on top of at least someone. They'll find no tail. Anna's surrounded. He still has the crowd. He gets the three of them. Thompson's able to turn with the live drain. Miracle set. Mind control toss back into the crowd. Making it a beautiful four man. Double kill for Thompson. He'll start to run them down one by one. Pushing Liquid back towards the fountain. Mind control. It's a dieback effectively, no buyback available, still on cooldown. They're gonna get themselves at least three bounties, over 10,000 experience lead, and that Dota Plus does say the 99% right now. So only a 1% right now for Liquid, it does feel like that as well. Do you get the play here off in time, Anna? They actually get it. We are able to get in with a bling mount. Can they get more out of this no tail? We'll pick up the rune, has Thompson by his side, but Liquid, they're chasing. They'll look to move onto the high ground, turn around there, Jarrett's in with the combo, the healing one is not enough to keep Miracle alive. Miracle's dead for over a minute, it's OG. They can now go back to chasing for more. GH tries for the TP out, Seb finds him, doesn't get enough damage in in time. GH will escape, decrepifies there. Liquid, they do get in, take down a second as they'll find no tail, but the toss back, Avalanche for Jarrett, oh catches the two of them. We have, he's got the Invis, they don't have detection. They've got AoE. Got the blink up soon with the refraction. And they will let him be. Who's going to be able to blink, or is he? He's not going. He's not going to be able to blink. He's not going to be able to blink. Thompson. The ward is down. He popped a fraction. He got hit by the inside the base. OG keeping them trapped inside of there. If they have, they have everything ready. They have all their tools available to fight. They got a rod of Atos on Seb now as well. Find Wait. the troll, find the jump hook with the Ravage. We has it as well. Do they have the damage out? Time they do. They kill on Thompson. It's a lot of money going the way of Kuroki though. Can they get more out of this Omni Slash bouncing around Jarek? A buyback comes out for Thompson. He wants to rejoin the fight. As OG turns, they'll get one. Chrono. There's the setup again. Anna with a three man Chrono catches them all. Double kill for Anna. The toss up disabled. Taking down Miracle. The Phantom embraces on Kuro. They'll chase him up to the base. Triple kill for Anna. Two buybacks to come out from Liquid. But no Tide or Juggernaut available to offer their service. And even then, they can't outcome. It can't even come close to coming out ahead of it. I mean, they, they got Thompson. They got that, him, but he's back. That was it. They'll get another jump in. Mind Control trying to commit. Jarrett's just turns with the Toss Avalanche combo. Mind Control out of the game once more. We are trying to jump in, find at least Thompson, but he's not going to get it. OG surround him, outnumber them, a toss up. Back to the grave. GH is dead. GG is called cool. OG take game three. And Derek setting it to even in a more devastating fashion than game two. It didn't look like it could get any worse for Liquid after that second game.